record if you want. If I grab another copy and just slightly change the title, we can both work, right? Absolutely. 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 I need to learn it, so. Okay. All right. Do me a favor, gentlemen. Do me a favor. Since you guys are listening to me and we, you're really nice, and to make it really nice, do you guys know how to insert the column? Highlight the top. Click on the top here. Right click and insert. Where's my insert? Insert. Insert the column here. Did you guys insert the column? And can you name this one switch gear? Switch gear. No, you're going to insert the column. I'm just adding another one to make it really better than anything else. Okay. Here's my suggestion from now on, going on in the commercial. Anything, any panel, 225 amp panel or less full neutral. Anything higher than that, you do the, the neutral calculation, but not, not the way we do it, though. Here's what I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Because it, it it's confusing and all this good stuff. Any nine? No, you don't want to do it nine times. So what I would do for neutral, anything two twenty five amp panels or higher or, or lower, full neutral. Don't even mess with it. If you go higher than two twenty five amp, then with anything higher than a hundred uh, and uh, and two hundred amp, anything higher than two hundred amp, cut it by seventy percent, and then add two hundred amp to it. You want to see how I'm doing in a second. Okay, are you guys all here? You made a switch gear, receptacle panel, lining panel, MP1, MP2, busway 1, busway 2, UPS, PDU, EP. Right? Everybody's there? View, my friend. I'm, I get scared when he looks at me like this, view. <laughs> okay, are we cool? Are we cool? Okay, now, I want you guys to excuse me a little bit. Okay, I want you guys to excuse me with the code here. The code references here are not the right ones. We can update them. The calculation is. The code reference right here is not the right code. We're going to go get the commercial one, but that's a different story. That's just typing. That's just typing. Did, 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 had I put my disclaimer because I'm, I'm recorded here. This is these code. We're going to update them. You guys are going to update them to 2008. Okay, so don't worry about it. The calculation is right though. Okay, here's what we do. Let me tell you what I would do, guys. Uh, I come over here, so everybody knows how many calculations we're going to have. Switch gear all the way to emergency panel, right? Did you guys put these columns there? All right. Now let's go back and start with, with number one. Did you guys start number one here? Uh, now, these are how many, these receptacles, these receptacles are how many receptacles I have, duplex receptacles I have in my building. Can you guys put any number now? Because we don't know how many receptacles. So do me a favor. Just put, did you guys put 99? Put 99. And when you multiply it by 8, you should end up with, if you look at the math here, it's basically take 99 multiplied by 80. And I know um, uh, Holly was asking me, how do you put the X? Can you guys see that these are, each one of them is a cell. So if I want to put the X, all I have to do is just make a cell between them. Right? Everybody can see that? Yeah. So if you look at the math here, it's basically taking 99 multiplied by 180. Okay? Next, if you guys have, um, what is this one? This is a, a for the quads. If you have a quad, count all your quads. You guys remember what Phil said? It's really nice to put quads. If you have a quad, uh, count the quads, Chanel, and multiply them uh, by 90. Uh, why don't you guys put, put 99 and 80 for now? Just and then we can adjust them at any time. Okay. So did I do math wrong here? My, of course your math is wrong. <laughs> okay. So you get these two. Everybody got that? I'm gonna look let me show you the math. You take cell. Oh by the way, do you mean to guys delete the math and make a math? Let me just delete the math. Suppose to I want to make this one. Start from zero. Can you guys see them start from zero? Hit equal, put equal. Can you guys see equal? Then go pick, click on the 80, then uh, type that little asterisk here. That's a multiplication. Pick the second cell. Can you guys see how it's typing cell times cell? Just by picking it up. And hit enter. Off you go. That's multiplication. I always complain about Ryman when he talked about Excel, but okay. <laughs> Is my math wrong? It is. It's right now. Yeah, no, it's my math. 
Mine or yours? You haven't hit enter yet, so your oh, okay. total is different than mine. mine is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here. So if you guys do, if you, shall I do it again? See the math? Can you guys see the math? You need to go uh, zoom up, uh, out to. That's as high as I can get, I guess. 90? 90, yep. Okay. All right. Then I add him up. How do you add things, guys? You add, if you click, here's the math that I have. Everybody knows how to add things? Anybody does not know how to add things? Please raise your hand. I can make an example. See if I want to add them here, just because not to embarrass somebody. Say I want to add them here. Hit equal and pick the first cell and put plus and pick the second cell and hit enter. It adds them here. I don't want to add them there. I, I don't want to add them there. This is just an example. I don't want to add them there. But I'm showing how to add them. I don't want, that's why whatever I do, it's going to come. Yes, sir. Uh, quick look at the rest of your, your columns. Uh, uh, which right, left? Right. right. Yeah. This way? Right. This way? The one oh, I'm sorry. Right. Okay. okay. And by the way, if you made a mistake, guys, and say you want to add one more here, please go just, you guys highlight it, insert another column here. You're not doomed. So let me just one second here. I'll be. Let me delete this one before I, I confuse anybody. Okay. I will call yes. Uh, neutral. Are we having uh, different columns for that? Or no? Neutral. <laughs> uh, neutral. We just talked about neutral. In neutral, no, no. We're not going to have a separate column for a neutral, guys. What I suggest, if you want, my suggest, you can do anything you want. Leave the neutral until the end. Anything higher than 225 amp panel, we're going to derate based on the first 200. Leave them alone. Higher than 200, cut them by 70%. So we're coming to it. Don't, don't make it. Okay. Everybody's okay, gentlemen? Uh, Jim, my friend, Camille, uh, Bill, and Chanel. Okay. So up to you. Uh, now, the rest, guys, is typing. I hope, see if you want, see if you want another column here to type, guys. If you, if you made a mistake here, you'll put another column here to type. Right click, insert a column, and here you go. You got yourself a column here where you can type. I'm going to go back. So the math is right in here, really. This is the math cells. Okay, any question, guys? So I added him up. I added him up. Any question? I want to remind you, Brad, in our project, there are molds that they will be put on in, um, in the lab upstairs. So you're going to be using, guys, that five you will be using the five foot section and one foot section you will be using it. i'm going to remind you guys the lab in the second floor in every bench you're going to go measure them measure the benches and put them right in here okay so suppose to i want to i want to assume the one that we have in the lab guys i'm going to assume if they're all non-continuous so i measured these are sections mold guys uh plugs i measured them they're 96 uh, feet they are non-continuous, so I put them under the five. The continuous uh, one under uh, next to the one, uh, 180 each. Look at the math, though. The first math, can you guys see what I did? The product divided by five. Can you guys see the five? Why? Because if it's multi-outlet assembly, non-continuous, for every one foot, you multiply it by 180, and you divide it by five. Okay, for every five feet, basically, it's one. These are per foot. That's where we divide it by five. Now, if you want to divide them before, that's okay. Now, I put all the feet and then divide in the math. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see the math where the, the, the nine is, the five is? The, the reason for the five, so let me go back. So here's my 90, 96, guys, 96 feet of continuous multi-outlet assembly, feet. Multiply them by 180. So multiply them by 180 and divide it. I divide it by five because for every five feet, non-continuous, you give 180. So now the one underneath it, guys, is for continuous one. Continuous are 50 feet, multiply by 180. Look how my math is. Do you see, Brad, do you see any divided by five here? There is no, because every one foot, Ben, it's, you're, you're, you're flying, man. Now you get that one, guys. Okay, everybody's okay with these two calculations? The third, the second one here, guys, if you look at the math that I did, it's adding them. 
these are adding them together. Spencer, can you see the map? And, and Holly, can you see that map? It's adding them. Okay? Any questions up to this one? So these are my receptacles. And the total one, this one is actually adding the receptacles and the multi-outlet assembly together. It says step one and step two. Very clear. Add them up. How do you add things up, guys? Either you sum them or you just pick cell one plus cell two. Always, when you do math, I hope I'm not repeating myself, Eric, when you do math, always start with equal. And then you start cell one, pick cell one, plus cell two, then it adds cell one and this cell two. Or sum if you want to. Can you guys see that? Yeah. All right. Now, then, then the derating. The derating comes, guys. If you can look, the first thing K, here's the first thing K. Where did they get the thing K? This is from the code. The first thing K, multiply them by one and put them here. Can you guys see with the map here? The thing K, just put thing K in this cell, multiply it by one, it equals 10, right? Leave them alone. The second, look at the second cell underneath it, guys. This cell, can you guys see this cell is? This cell is uh, basically the total. Thank you, minus 10,000. And I'm sorry if I'm beating myself too much. Um, the total subtracted 10,000. And then you multiply it by 0.5. So here's the, can you guys see how the cell is? You take the total, which is right in here. Can you guys see it right here? Subtracted from it the 10. And that will be the math in this cell. Then... You basically, what you did is you took the anything higher than 10,000 and you cut it by 50%. And that's, can you guys see the 0.5 times this number? These are very simple. I hope, guys, it's not too complicated of math that a lot of you can do it. Okay? <laughs> it's about time it's about time guys you you bring all your food and come <laughs> okay can you guys look at that then look with this this is the total this is the derated receptacle that's what you're going to be sizing based on did you guys hear me this is the derated receptacle now mr view this is where i want you to wake up see now i know this number is going to be coming from the receptacle panel look what i'm going to do guys right next to the receptacle equal and bam pick it up and now i not only i sized the switch gear stuff but i also sized the receptacle panel at the same time and do you guys think that this derated is going to be also under the switch gear equal and pick this one bam now this number and i'm going to highlight it with uh, uh with um make it let's make my yellow is my calculation can you guys see how my calculation here is yellow? So, did you see what I did, guys? Because this number, Camille, one second. This number is going to be seen by the receptacle panel. So I put it under receptacle. And also, everything is going to be by, seen by the switch gear. So we just put it under the switch gear. Yes, Camille? Uh, in the five sections, I don't know if I missed this, but 96 times 180. Uh, divide by five. See what, where I put the five? Can you see the five right up there? Ah. I put the math in it. You, you guys don't have to do it this way. You can do it like Brad, you divided it. No problem. Bare foot. Or you can divide by a five and multiply by 180. You do the math where, whatever you want to do. Okay, thank you. So everybody knows what, how we came up with these two values for receptacle. Now, Mr. Buell, your receptacle panel is done. Right here, here's the size of the receptacle. We might have one or two other loads need to be fit from the receptacle. Guess what? We're going to grab that load and just add it to the, these one of these columns. Yes, sir? We want to switch here as well. Yes, because the switch, do you guys understand what we're doing? The switch gear is going to see everything. The receptacles panel is going to only see the receptacles. Okay? We're done with the receptacles, gentlemen. We're done with the receptacles. Those are the... That would be the actual figure. That would be a count from our plan. Yes, yes. Uh, one thing, thank you. One thing I want you to do, please, you, you guys use 99 and 80. All what I need you to do when we design the building, just go edit the number of the, the receptacles to reflect what you guys had. And guess what? If you end up with less than 100 amp panel, don't ever put less than 100 amp panel in any commercial building. So 
Any question, guys? So we sized, we really sized the receptacle panel and the receptacle portion of the main panel, right to the get-go. Shall we go to, so Mr. Rebecca, you guys missed this step, but you can follow up directly with me. Now I want to take you guys to the unknown receptacles. Disclaimer, can you guys see an unknown receptacle step number four? Can I take your attention, guys, for a second? Unknown receptacles are only for, for office buildings for office building or the portion of the building that's office. Did you hear me? The office building or the portion of the building that's office. For all practical reasons, ignore it for this project. If you want to delete it, delete it, or just leave it there not doing anything, leave it there not doing anything. Did you guys hear me? So this one, I'm going to highlight the whole thing here and just, uh, not this one, the one underneath it, the receptacle, all the way this, and I'm going to go, um, is it the same here? For office building only, so I'm going to go highlight this, um, and I'm going to go gray. Uh, which gray here? Uh, wait, let me see. Uh, okay. Well, let's just do it. I'm just, I'm just going to black it. Oh, can I black it for a second? I might confuse you though. Okay. So this one, guys, this side, if you don't have it, leave it. This, I I'm not going to do anything with the future. Why? Why bread? I'm not going to do it because it's not an office building in this case. Okay? Am I clear about this, guys? Just leave it. Don't do anything with this step. We're not using unknown. Zero. Everything is zero. I didn't carry anything unknown. Any question, my friends? Any question? Okay, everybody as at can I do you guys have uh, this step here from the commercial building? Everybody has this step from the commercial building? Okay. Can you do me a favor? But for make this one four point one. Just call it four point one for all practical reasons. Name it four point one. So this will be step four point one. Please don't hold me accountable to the code references because they need to be updated but the math is right though okay this one here guys uh these those will include computer this this one is for the data centers and i want you to wake up with me that's how we size the pdus and the ups the pdus and the ups based on this step 4.9 so i want you guys to look at two things um here's the computer my, here's my computer the square foot of my computer this one will be square foot of my building, the computer office, the computer office. This one will be what, what here is square foot. <coughs> this value is 90 is given as what per square foot. Did you guys see that? So I have the square feet of the, yeah, the computer room only the computer room guys this the computer room did you guys hear me everybody heard me the computer room area square foot multiplied by 90. can you guys put f at the top here efficiency why did i multiply by 1.1 1. 1? that's efficiency 10 percent efficiency they will the, the system guys will be 10 percent losses i want to accommodate for this okay and then the Y 1.25 continuous. This is continuous load. 1.25. Everybody got these? Because these are these are engineered values. This these ones are engineered values. Everybody got them? These red guys. Okay. And then Mr. View, you know what I did? I just multiplied all of them. If you guys look at the math here, it's basically multiply multiply all these numbers by each other. You can say product and and the product multiply everything. See what I did? This is this cell is multiplying all of them. Yeah, you can put product. Uh, let me. Can I? I'm going to do one thing, guys. If you want to do it like I did, put here. Say a, a product. Where's my product here? Product. Pick product, and pick the cell. See how? Oops. Um, here you go. One more time. Uh, 
a product where's my product product and um, I don't use this this function okay product okay <laughs> uh, a product there you go double click product. there you go now now you can grab the cell thank you, you grab these four cells and you hit enter and you got the same number on that cell I don't want you to do that guys but that's how we do it one more time equal and or if you don't want to do it this way if you do it the long way you can equal grab this multiplied by this multiplied by this that will give you the same answer multiplied by this enter get you the same answer either way guys see how we did the product or you can multiply Okay, now I'm going to go erase this. I'm going to tell you guys, I think Mr. Bu, do you agree with me that this will be seen by the switch gear too, this load? So I'm going to go equal to the switch gear and enter. Why do you think I put it under the switch gear? Chad is going to be seen by the switch gear too. And I'm going to go move all the way guys, and I want you please to be aware. Okay, do you guys see the... Let's go to the UPS and PDUs. Okay. That's uh, the, starting with the, with the, uh, what do you call it, the commercial project that we did. You guys have it. You have it in your commercial project. And we added them a couple of minutes ago. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so if you guys look at um, the PDU, his, this is going to be under the PDU. So I highlight the PDU and I go, can you guys see that this will be right also under the PDU? Equal, grab this, enter. Here's my PDU size. The same thing, UPS. Go back up, guys, a little bit. Here's my PDU and UPS. These will be seen by both of them. So enter, grab the right cell, equal this, and off you go. I grabbed these two numbers, guys, under the PDU and the UPS. Why? Because that's how we're going to size the PDU, and that's how we're going to size the UPS. The, under the PDU and the UPS. See how, how easy that is, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? You guys, you know how this, this particular one goes, guys? It goes, here's the PDU fed from the UPS, UPS, PDU, fed from this switch gear, right? So if I have the load here, it's going to be seen by the PDU, the same load will be seen by the UPS, the same load will be seen by the switch gear. That's kind of a special, the PDU is a special animal. I agree with you, we should have done the riser. I knew it was none of us smart, but I couldn't figure yeah, who. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And if I were you guys, uh, I would go put, put these as yellow, put them yellow. I like to put, you can use any color, just put yellow to make sure that these are carried over from somewhere else. Okay, any question guys? Can you guys see how? It's recorded, it's being recorded. Can you guys see that? Everybody can see that? We got the RP done we got the ups done and the pdu done right on the get go now brooks my friend all what you have to do now adjust the the square foot of the building done when we start designing it just put these values now to get numbers okay all right let me go back here you can i'm mine is so maximized so you can see it guys but if i minimize it as a matter of fact you can see everything see you can see the whole the big picture all right before before I move into the mechanical equipment, guys, anybody has any question? No, I'm sorry, Brad, here. Where are you here? No, Over. Ah, uh, this 4.1, we're calling it special loads, computer load, special load, computer load. Can you scroll down just a little bit? Scroll down. down. Are you stealing numbers? Yep. Hey, thieves. 
I'm coming to the mechanical load, guys, in a second. Any question about the computer load? I'll get into that one in a second, uh, Brad. Okay. Any question about step 4.1? What's the code for that? Uh, step 4.1. Um, let me find that one for you, would you? This is a computer load. Um, um, not these ones. Yeah. These ones are wrong. I, I promise I'll give you guys. I think I get in the commercial project. They are in the commercial project, right? I'll give it to you. Disclaimer, because this is being recorded, that we will update the, the code references. Okay. Any question, guys? Camille, Jim, Chanel, Brian and Brooks, guys, are good. Holly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go size the mechanical panels. This is I want you guys to wake up for the mechanical panels. I'm going to go size the... I'm sorry, not the mechanical panel, the, the bus ducts. I want you guys to say, to look at the bus ducts. How do we size the bus ducts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the bus ducts, you guys have to type these. So to, to size the bus ducts, make sure this is with you. This, this sheet is with you. Um, I'm going to go highlight which one. This is the stuff that I gave you guys. Um, I'm going to go identify which one is 208 and which one is 480. Do me a favor. Can you have? Can you grab this one in in front of you guys? Make sure this is in front of you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go highlight. Now you guys have to type this. Everything here. Can you guys see that step? Owner equipment list. Can you guys for owner equipment list? Can you can you name it? Can you name it 4.2? Can you please name it 4.2? And just call it um, owner owner equipment equipment owner equipment and. Um, Brooks, I promise you, it's called industrial machinery. Machinery in the code. Can you find the code for it? It's called industrial machinery. Um, I can't remember. It's in. Uh, uh, it's in the five. Of, I think it was a four hundred uh, chapter four hundred. But I'll get you the code for this one. It's industrial machinery. These are industrial machinery, right? So, I want you. Here's what I want to do, guys, to make it very easy on you. I'm going to go highlight which one is two eight. Remember, guys, these are some two eight. Some 208, do you guys hear me? Some 480. So I'm going to highlight in red the 28, uh, the 480, because they're the smallest. The extruder, where's the extruder? Uh, in, okay, extruder, where's his extruder? This is uh, 480. Anything in red is 480. Baking oven, baking oven is 480. And um, cut the cutter, Miss Cutter is also 480. Um, uh, grinder, where's my grinder? Grinder and welder, the grinder and the welder are 480. Okay, these are the only 480, and uh, that's it. How many loads do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. These five loads, anything in red, are 480. Why did they put them in red? Just for me, guys, so I can carry them under the 480. Jim, my friend. The reason why I put them in red too, so I can carry them under the 480 section. So, first we identify them. Second, if I were you guys, here's the number, let's just say, uh, when you type them, this cell is the number of units, this cell is the KBA. If I were you, I would do it actually differently. If I was doing it, I would put the amps and multiply by the voltage. How did we get, get with 6 uh, 4.68? If you guys look from here, Find the amps for this machine. Let's just do it for the tube mill. Let's do it for the tube mill. Can you guys see the tube mill is 13 amps? So 13 amps times uh, 208, it's three phase, times 1.73 equal divide by 1,000. That will get you 
what did they come up with? 0.68. Everybody can see where 0.68 came from? Let me just tell you this one, 0.68, uh, uh, 4.68, thank you. Let me just do the math here, guys, tell you what I did. Do you mind? Here's what I've done. I, I took the 13 amps, 13 amps, uh, how am I going to do that in math? Equal 13 amps times, um, I took uh, 208, 208 times 1.1.773 um, and put them in brackets. I guess I don't need to, but if you put them in brackets and divide them by uh, 1,000, one, two, three, and enter. Oops, what did I do here? Why it's not recognizing it? One second, I need to close. Where's the ninth? Uh, um, oh, not nine. Oh, I see what you, I didn't type it. Okay. So 13 is the amps, the voltage is 28, 1.73 is the three phase, and 1,000 is the KVA, and enter. See where it came up with exactly the number that I came up with, guys? 4.68? It's already happening here. Hold your horses. I'm just uh, trying to justify where it came up with that number. You guys see, I'm trying to justify where I came up with this number is equal to this number, right? Mm -hmm. You take the amps of the equipment, multiply it by the voltage, multiply it by 1.73, divide it by 1,000. You really, this is, guys, was one student idea at one time. I wouldn't have done it this way if I were you, if I had the chance. I would have put the amp right away and did the calculation. I would, I would have changed this one into the amps and the voltage and put another column for the voltage and, and a three phase. But, but then you have to have three columns, one voltage, one three phase, one amp, and do the math. Yes, sir. Can you just re-highlight the 4.68? The second one. Um, here you go. See the math here? 13 times 28 times 1.73 times. These don't, make, these don't make the math here. I'm just showing the math just as an idea yeah. how, how you came up with this. OK. Mr. Bab, you're going to do this for all these equipments. You guys are going to do this for all these equipments. Spencer, my friend, any question or are you just yeah, fancy? Fancy. I can I can slow down. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so everybody, guys, knows how to find the uh, the KVA. I keep looking at you. Don't stop uh, nugget, nodding your head. Everybody knows how to. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so, um, any everybody take the amps times the voltage times the 1.73 divided by a thousand. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna delete this cell, guys, because I don't need it. Here's here's the tricky thing. Look what I did. Then, if you guys look at the math here. This math is doing, taking the product of all these together. Let me just walk you through the product. This one is how many machines of this type I have. This is the KVA of every machine. This is 1.25 because it's continuous load, machine continuous load. 0.8, what the heck is 0.8? When you guys have, this is an engineering factor, I call it. When you guys have machines, it's highly unlikely that every single one of these machines, there's tens of, of machines, guys. There's probably 60, 70 machines. What's the likelihood that all of them are going to be running engaged fully at the same time? It's not likely. So a lot of engineers guys put a rating factor, sometimes 0.7, sometimes 0.8, close to 0.8, meaning that will take the diversity of the load. So take it from Chad. This is a, a diversity factor for the load, load diversity factor, 0.8. In reality, you know what we did in reality? Is we basically got rid of the continuous load. That's what we just got rid of the continuous load. So that's the 0.8 is demand factor not from the code, engineering demand factor. So, did you guys come up with the same number? I do have a question about your math there. Your, your heading says answer times 1,000, but your math is times 100. Should be 1,000. This should be 1,000. That should be 56.14. Should be, everything here should... It should be 1,000, you're absolutely right. Should be a thousand. Yeah. Please, should be a thousand. You're absolutely right. Should be a thousand. So the first one should be 56.16. Are we taking? Yep. Yep. That's what I did. Did you guys, did you guys came up with the same number? 56160 volt amp. Okay. 
It should be a thousand. Multiply by a thousand. Okay. Uh, we divided by a thousand here to find the KVA, Mr. Mm -hmm. When we calculate it, then we multiply them because we put them in KVA, guys. You have to multiply by a thousand. Okay, gentlemen and lady, everybody, guys. When you add them all up, when you add them all up, when you do the math, I want to bring to your attention the single phase. I want to do one single phase, though. There is a single phase uh, end flare. Is that what they call it? End flare. This one. End flare. Can you guys see that end flare, guys? That particular one, this end flare, did you guys hear me? This one is single phase. It says single phase, what is it? It's uh, it's single phase, six amps, 208. If it's single phase, how do you do it, Brad? You take six amps times 208, do you, do you multiply by 1.73? No. no. And you divide by 1,000. And you end up with 1.24. That's how you came up with 1.24. Did you hear Camille that, uh, Chanel? The last day to drop out of the class is uh, Friday. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. I can't read those equipment on the side there. Oh, these? Okay. Um, can you uh, just control click on your camera itself? Grab, grab this one sheet. It's right in that sheet. Right in that sheet. Yep. You yeah, guys, that equipment, you can read this one. It's right in that sheet, guys, in page uh, 15, please. Yes, sir. Can you go to your total cell? Click on your total cell. Yeah, let me just see what the uh, total cell. Total cell is summing everything. Why? What, what is the J22? Where is the J22? Oh, he's adding the computer room in there. Oh, that's Why is he adding the computer room? You're adding it. You have been adding it. Ah, ah, this is wrong. Not wrong. The way we're going to do it now is wrong. So here's what should be. Enter this. Okay? This is what it should be. Yeah. He did it because it's done by a student. He did it because it was added. But the way we're going to do it is different. Okay? I see your point. So you're going to add them all up. Thank you for bringing that one. Any question, guys? Can you just add the demand factor if I can? Yes. You don't have to add them in each column. But here's why I want you to do it on each column. Because we're going to carry them to the mechanical equipment. And when you carry them to the mechanical equipment, it, it, it makes it easier for you to the mechanical equipment panel to carry it at the mechanical equipment level. Okay. Everybody guys see that? Please. Everybody see how we did the math and added them all up? Now, Ryan, my friend, this is going to be fit from, you guys agree with me, this is going to be seen by two things, three things. By the mechanical equipment, which mechanical equipment now? We have two panels. We have two panels. These are going to be the first floor. So the first floor is going to be our panel number one. The second floor is going to be panel number two. So this will be seen by the mechanical equipment number one. It will be seen by the switch gear. And it will be also, some of it will be seen by the 480 bus and some by the 28 bus. Let me show you what I'm going to do now. Okay, so let me go directly to here, guys. Equal, grab, enter. So now I made it, I made my, my switch gear. Can you guys see that my switch gear here? My switch gear. I... Pick this load and put it on the switch gear. Are you with me? Pick the load and put it under the switch gear. Are you guys with me? Pick the load and put it in the switch gear. Now, the mechanical equipment. Let's go back all the way. I'm going to go up, guys, to all to mechanical equipment. My mechan We decided which mechanical equipment I'm going to put it under. One. Why one? Because that's going to be on the lower level. So here's mechanical equipment one. Go all the way down, 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 down. Here you go. So, oops, where am I here? Up. Why did they tell me? Okay. So can you guys see I'm trying to find which cell? Here's the cell, right? That's my cell. Equal that number. Enter. So now I carried them under the mechanical equipment too. Can you guys see that? It's all carried under the mechanical equipment. To know where you are, you might have to pick up the whole column. Can you guys see that? 
It's you are under the mechanical equipment. One, not two. Now I size my mechanical equipment one. Well, part of it, yeah. My mechanical equipment one. Um, I'm sorry, I lied to you. I really lied to you. I really did. Mechanic, this will be good. I'm sorry, this will be directly, this will be directly fit from the switch gear. So please delete that one. It's not going to be in the mechanical equipment. It will be directly, the bus way is going to be directly from the, the way we design it, the way we want to design it, based on the description. We could have done that, but the way we are designing it, we're going to feed it directly from the switch gear. So stay, stay out of it from the switch gear. <laughs> okay? So we, we, we fit it from the switch gear. Okay, now, though it's going to be fit under, this is I want you to wake up for your sleep, eh? uh, part of it guys, is going to be 480 and part is 28. So I'm going to go pick up the part that's 28 and the part that's, um, and I, I want you, so look at, I'm going to go to the 480 only. So let me, let me tell you how I would do it. I'm going to go to the 480 only, so right in here. This is 480, can you guys see that? This is my 480. I'm going to say equal. Here's what I'm going to do. I want to go add only the 480 loads and put them here. Only the 480 loads. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to say equal. Um, okay, let's go pick loads. Let's go pick loads. Which loads, Chad? I'm going to go pick the load, the number one load. Can you guys see this? Is this the right that where I'm pointing? Yeah, that's true. Right. Click on this and then hit plus. This one is a 480 load. I already identified it by red. Okay, I'm gonna go pick the second one. Uh, this one, right? Can you guys see that? Also, and plus uh, this one, right? Am I right here? This one, yep. Plus, um, is it this one here? This one, uh, plus, and uh, the one underneath it. Am I right, guys, here? How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. And they are one, two, three, four, five. How do I know? The sheet will tell you guys which one is 480. So I pick them up, and when you're done picking them up, what do you do, guys, to finish the math? Hit enter. Hit enter. This value here is actually all the 480, all the 480 loads that's going to be fit from the 480 panel. Done. The 480 loads is done. Well, that's just the owner's equipment, right? That's the only thing that's going to be fit from the 480 busway, the owner equipment. Okay. The only thing that's so going to be... It's not the mechanical equipment, that's just all going to be coming in somewhere else. They're going to be coming from the mechanical panels. Okay. Okay, now look, let me tell you how you do the math in the 28 much easier. If I take the total and subtract the 480 from it, what do you get, guys? The 28. The 28. There are two loads. So let's go... Let's go to the um, 28. Here's my 28. Here's my cell. So to find the 28 load, you have two options, DJ. You can put equal and go pick them one at a time here. You can do that. But since you already know all the total of the 480, if you subtract it from the total of the two of them, what do you guys get? You know how the math is, right? So I'm going to go pick this value, subtract. Subtract this value from it. Do you guys see what I did? I picked this value, subtract from it the 480 value. What do you think the, the leftover is? 28. So enter and off you go. Can you guys see that? This is my 28 bus day sized beautifully for you. Beautiful. See how easy that is? The 28 bus way and the 480 bus ways are sized for you. Go back to 42. Let me here. So all that's why I like this all in one sheet because you can you're playing with the loads in ev wherever they are, Eric, uh, right on the spot. Ben, my friend, we're cool. Move it. I'm sorry. Where? Which one? Oh, the uh, upper. There you go. There you go. So switch gear, receptacle panel, lighting panel, MP1, MP2. So let me just summarize, guys, what we've done. We designed, we've found almost everything on the receptacle panel. 
we found everything on the 480 busway and the 28 busway, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go uh, to the line camp uh, and the PDUs. We found the UPS and the PDU. So as you can see, we can fill in them, fill in the blank as you go. Any question, guys? And guess what? If you missed one load, guys, all that you have to do is just identify under one column later on and off you go. Okay, let me go do the light. The, what's next? So we got, uh, let me see where we are here. We got the own equipment. Lighting. Can you guys see lighting? Lighting, the square foot of the building. Our building was a 25,000 square foot. It was 18, total of 24. I think it's 24,500. Is that 24,000? Something like this. No, there's two stories. Two stories. Yeah. So it adds up. Yeah, there's 8,000 plus uh, 15,000. So let's do it right here. Now, do you guys want to be perfectionist here? Okay, so I have 15800 plus 8000. 2300. 23, okay, let's make it right then from the get go. 23238. Zero zero, enter. Okay, now, um, now, now, gentlemen, I want you to wake up here a little bit because it's a light. It's a light. Here's what I want to do that my friend, the student who did that one, did not do because we're doing it differently. Did you guys hear me? I'm going to multiply the continuous load right in here. So if you guys have room, put put here one. 0.25 we're doing it slightly different we're going to put the 1.25 right at this step why because it helps us carry it to the other lighting panel guys so i'm going to go here and multiply and uh, multiply this cell here uh with multiplication multiply it by 1.25 right on the gig go right from the gig go so i multiplied by 1.25 right from the gig go why the, the list that I told you guys used to group them all the way at the bottom and multiply by 1.25 there, but it's it's really nice to because we're going to be grabbing and putting them under the lighting. It's good to get uh, get it right away. Okay, so I have my lighting load. Guess where the lighting load in this step is going to? Uh, do I have other lighting loads? I think I have. Uh, then, then I have my my existing loads. You guys don't have this. Then, then you have you add all your lighting fixtures. Add your lighting fixtures. Uh, here's my lighting fixture. This is, well, eventually, you guys don't have this, so this is going to be empty. You're going to go the volt amp of every fixture times how many of them multiplied by, add it all up, add them up, and you're going to choose the largest. Which one is the largest? 104, 48, uh, 1, 2, 3, right? The, this, this, the top is 104. Okay, now this is where you can be creative. Um, by by choosing the largest. So here's what I would do, if I were you guys, I would say here. I think the largest is this. Look what I'm going to do. Grab this max. I think max equal max of this value. And where's the other value? And um, and this value. Or comma this value. I haven't done the max for a while. What's the max? I thought max. Okay, let's go here. Max. Max of this value. No, I didn't do the max. Let's find the max. Equal. Max this value. No, where is the max? Okay. Equal. All right, equal. One more time. Max, open brackets, um, this value, comma, this value. I think that's how we do it. Correct me if I'm wrong here, gentlemen. Or max of two values. How? And close it. No, it didn't carry it. All right, let's type it. So we took this one, let's type it. Comma, what was the other cell? 
come on uh, this value. There you go. We, we got it. We got it. Enter. The max of the two. So this is the function that you need to do. Max cell one comma cell two. Max cell one comma cell two will pick the largest of the two values. Max cell one comma cell two. Now, did you guys see what I did? I did max comma cell one cell two and put it right into into this under the switch gear. So basically, I, what I did, uh, DJ, with the function max, if you're familiar with the, with Excel, it allows you to choose the largest of two quantities or three quantities or five quantities. Okay. Now, I'm not going to tell you a secret, uh, Brad, if I told you the lighting panel is going to be seeing what? Lights, right? So what are you going to do? You're going to go all the way under lighting panel, close to lighting panel, right here, and hit equal. In this case, I would, here's which cell I would carry, guys. I would carry this cell. Everybody knows why this cell? Because that's the looking at the max of the two. And enter. So now I size my lighting panel. Done. With a continuous load. I size my lighting panel. Can you guys see that? I size my lighting panel. Is my lighting? If you are not know where you are, click on this. That will kind of orient you. Okay. Now, um, Spencer, my friend, you don't have these labels yet. You're going to type them, guys. When you get them, um, this is my loads. I think they did. Uh, they did the product for these. They just product, guys. This times this, and then they added them up here. Um, I don't think we multiply it, guys, by 1.25. So please, when you add them up, can you guys do me a favor? Uh, multiply when you add them up at the top, uh, bottom. Multiply by 1.25 because continuous load has to be multiplied by 1.25. It's still the answer is still higher. So right here. Multiply your total by 1.25 because continuous load, and you choose the largest. Gentlemen, I have just sized, and lady, I have just sized my lighting panel. What was your, your, your total has multiplied by 1.25? Yeah. Okay. Or you can do it one step right in every step. It doesn't make a difference here. But we need to accommodate that this is a continuous load. Mr. Rebeb, this is the single important one here, which, and please, just, this function is easy. Max, cell, comma, cell. The max of two quantities. Yes, sir. Folks, a question. Later in your thing, you have continuous load. Thank you. When you have lines together, guys, are you doing it in the step? Yes, we're doing it in the step. We're doing it slightly different with this format. So anything that says continuous load later on, ignore it. We're doing the continuous load right into the steps. Because then easier to, Slide it into every panel. Easier to slide. We're doing it slightly different. Just slide it into every panel. Is that because you got so many? You got it. No, it's, it's, it's because we're we're sizing all the panels from one grid. We'll see you, my friend. We're sizing all the panels, guys, from one grid, one sheet. And I I think it's faster, nicer. You can see all the loads instead of having one sheet for every um, for every calculation. Now, uh, Brooks, if you did it this way, when you maneuver it to move them, that's fine with me. I'm not hung up on it. But I think if you do them in the steps, it's easier. You can you transfer one step at a time. You slice smaller you can, chunks. You can do it to max it before going down once. Like There's so many ways of doing it. I think if you do it down to the step, it gives you more maneuverability to, to move things uh, 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 to the side. But that's not the only way of doing it, though. Okay, so we got our um, we got our lighting panel, right? And we typed. Now you guys are not going to have any lights. Please be aware you're not going to have any lights to compare with. Now let's go back and see what uh, what's lighting demand load. Okay, now here, um, you can. I would this lighting demand load, guys. There is no demand load for this step, if you have it. So I would um, I would just gray the sliding demand load. Now track lights. 
I have a track lights, guys. If you have a track lights, let's just put track lights here. Let's put some track lights here. Let's say we have um, um, track lights go by feet. Let's say we have 10 feet of track lights. And then if you guys can see, these two are this times this. Now, Brooks, I'm going to go put my continuous load right in here too. So times 1.25, enter. You have, you tell me that you have 10 feet? 10 feet. Um, no, we don't. We really, in this project, we don't. We don't have a track lights. Right, but wouldn't, that calculation would be for 20 feet, right? So 10 feet, these are, should be in 10. So if, it was, if it was 10 feet, it would be half that tall. Uh, for every two feet. Yeah. Uh, so we'd have to have five. Thank you. Uh, divide this by two. Right? For every two feet. Correct. Off you go. Thank you. Because for every two feet, 150 for every two feet. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. So you're going to take the number of feet divided by two, multiplied by 150. And then did we multiply by 1.25? Yeah, I, I multiply this one by 1.25, the bottom. Now, I don't know about you guys, if there's a lot of lights here, either you, you add a uh, sign light, show window lights. I think we, what we did is we add them all together at the bottom as one step. Is that what we did? Yeah, I think I think would be, but then we can't compare though. If we do that, we can't compare them. If we do that, guys, we can't compare them. Here's what I would do, honestly. I would carry them individually. Here's 1.25. Now this is equal equal this enter and um, if I have a sign the same thing I will carry the sign here um, do I have a sign yeah I think we have a sign don't we so I'm going to take equal this enter don't forget that you need a continuous load guys times 1.25 you can you can you can you really can it doesn't you you can Either way, um, if you have a, a show window, you can put the show window too and carry it all the way to the last step. Now, the way I did it, guys, then last step, you don't need to do anything for last step. So continue under continuous loads for 10. Gone. This will be great. You don't need this step. The way, if you did it the way I did it. Yeah. If you did it the way I did it. Now remember, I did not carry these two guys under lighting, so I'm going to go carry them under lighting. So where's my lighting panel? Here's my lighting panel. So let me see where, where am I here to carry. Okay, so I'm here. I need this equal this. Enter. These are also should be on the lighting panel. This equal this. Enter. Now I loaded that lighting panel with these lights because they're going to be in lighting panel. Okay. Yeah. This is an industrial building. Which is an illicit occupancy in, in Article 220. So don't you use the actual, you would use the higher of the two. You choose the higher of the two. But it's not a illicit occupancy, it's an industrial building. Not all of it, though. There's offices, there's, um, it's it's really a mixture of occupancy, mixture of, of, uh, of different, there's Maybe offices. The, the industrial commercial loft building? I would. I would use the way I, I get. Yeah, you, you have a point, though. You have a point. You know what? If we want to do it by the code, guys, you have to go every section of the building. If this section is menu and do it section by section. Yeah, I, I usually, and, and be, be my guest to change it, I usually go for the most part this building based on the consumption. I'm going to treat it as 3.5%. 3.5 and multiply across the board. But if you want to go take the manufacturing area, multiply it. There's a what's the manufacturing area? Um, if you have manufacturing, how much uh, volt amp they give? They yeah, give industrial. I don't know what a loft is. That's a commercial and there's a loft. Yeah. Yeah. I I usually use a 3.5. I use 3.5 for them. For design point for it. So when we add them up, my friends, we got ourselves in, into all these volt amps. 
any question guys about the lights so we carried the lights from one location to another carried lights Camille are you guys good yeah carried the lights here's the, the step that says guys continuous load I would ignore it you guys if you want to design it differently be my guest add him up okay so we got that one dishwasher where do you think if I have a dishwasher things where would that be just before you go where would the dishwasher would be on a receptacle panel so add this one to the receptacle panel yeah, go ahead uh, go ahead talk to me about your math the which one here world, you know, uh, don't worry about my math I I uh, I added 1.25 everywhere so shouldn't your math shouldn't match this don't look at this at all this is not right you know why look what I did here I put 1.25 here I put 1.25 here I put 1.25 here I put a lot of 1.25s in a lot of locations if you guys want to go get rid of the 1.25 up and multiply at the bottom transfer it as one step be my guest right but I didn't do my 1.25 all the way that well I suppose I did if you do 1.25 you you Okay. Okay. Can I uh you check uh, over what? To the right. Down here. Any question, guys? No, I got when it came to the lighting chat, I have to add all the stuff into my schedule. So. Yeah, but but see, the point is you yeah. cho you choose, and the function that you need is max two cells mm -hmm. equal max open bracket cell one, comma cell two, fix the existing or the design. Let me go to the mechanical equipment, guys, and you can see that rhythm of it. Let me just go to the mechanical equipment. Now, uh, for mechanical equipment, there's the non-coincidental load. The non, the new, the two non-coincidental loads, guys, that we have is we have a boiler, pump, and we have a chiller and a cooling tower. The chiller and the cooling tower are by far, <laughs> by far, the the most, um, the biggest loads. So what I did, guys, here. We had them on. Well, we're going to add them in a second here. We're going to add them in a second. But if you guys want co consent, the non coincidental load, we have a boiler and we have a chiller and a cooling tower. A chiller and a cooling tower. And comparing them to the boiler. Um, so here's my boiler. My boiler. And here's my chiller. Product of this by product of that. The total. So if you guys want to pick a, a smaller function, um, he used F95 more than this, than this, otherwise this. This is a function that also, guys, can get you to, to compare. Instead of a max of two quantities, you can use the F. F96 is more than um, uh, J101, then the answer should be J96, otherwise J91. Really, I could have done this much better in math by using max the max of two quantities the max of two quantities did you guys see what they did we picked the max of the heating or the cooling and by far by far the cooling is going to be the largest okay so we picked these then guess what the switch gear is going to see this value here enter and now here's my question for you brad i have a chiller and a cooling tower where is the chiller located the cooling tower on the roof the chiller is located where the chiller located in the mechanical in, in in the mechanical room so one of them is going to be fed from i think the chiller they want us to feed it directly um, let me look at how they want us to feed the chiller i believe the chiller they said directly yeah 
you they want you to feed the electric chiller directly from a switch gear guys the chiller the chiller in particular it if you guys look it says the chiller in particular they want us to feed it from directly from a switch gear uh, the blower and the um, no, that's not the cooling tower. I'm sorry, that's a cooling tower. It should be the cooling tower. The chiller, which is this one, is going to be fit directly from a switch gear. So guess what? Then, yeah. I'm not getting what you're getting on 101. Or, yeah, 101J. 101J. Click on that. I am adding the 2400 by the all this stuff, 631.5. Okay. Okay, so this is the mechanical equipment on the switch gear, guys. Now, I want you guys, can you do me a favor? Now, the rest of them, the bottom ones, guys, are all my mechanical equipment. All my mechanical equipment, the bottom one with full load amps, and multiplied by 1.25 over here, and carried over here. So this, basically, this cell will equal this cell on a switch gear. Done. Here's my switch gear. This is my switch gear. Now, including the continuous load, there's a continuous load. The largest motor. Here's how I added them all up. You can see how we, all these motors. Everybody can see how we did that. Where is J25? Okay. Okay, the gut is okay. This one times this. Perfect. This one. That's what the weird the weird way of doing it here. Okay, so this is, guys, all the main mechanic equipment summed together. Now I need to go identify which one of them is going to be in which panel. How do you know which panel is going to be in, with anything in the first floor, in the second floor, and the rope is going to be in, in mechanical panel number two? Okay, let's go. Exhaust fans. All the exhaust fans. I'm, I'm going to highlight the ones that's going to be in the mechanical panel two, guys. All these, because they are exhaust fans. If you guys look at, look at the project, these are going to be in the roof. Um, and I also air handling unit. All the air handling unit, guys, these are on two. Um, or all air handling unit are in two. That's about it. And also the cooling tower. The cooling tower is in two. The chiller is going to be on, uh, I'm going to make it, uh, oops, not green. The chiller, I'm going to make it, guys, uh, green here. You know why I made the chiller green? Because the chiller is actually directly from the switch gear. It's fit directly from the switch gear. Cooling tower. I don't think the cooling tower is fit directly from a switch gear. Chiller. Nope. So everything that you guys can see in red, this is fit from mechanical panel number two. The rest of it, where do you guys think the rest would be fit from? Mechanical panel number one. Now, how am I going to... How am I going to split them? How am I going to be splitting them, guys? Right? Which one is the largest load here? The largest of all these. Okay. Any First of all, any question about adding them all up, guys? Adding them all up? 
So I have I have add them all up. Now I'm going to go to the mechanical panel number one. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to mechanical equipment panel two. Let's go to two. Can you guys see it two with me? Go to mechanical panel number two. All the way, go down, 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 down. What am I here, Chad? Down. No, this is the light. Down again. We're still going down, 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 up to here. Are you guys with me? I am going to go pick up. This is mechanical panel number two. Write this. This cell. Look what I'm going to do for mechanical panel number two. I'm going to say hit equal. And I'm going to go pick him up. Now, some of you guys are going to ask, what's what happened to the 1.25, Chad? Gosh, I um, don't worry about the 1.25. You can do it with one with the map, 25% to the largest motor. But let's just go pick them up. So this equal the loads. Can you guys see this loads? This equal this. Am I right here in this? Which panel are you under? Uh, mechanical panel two. Times. Where's my times, Chad? This one times this. I guess there's an easier way of product to do it. Times this. All these. Times this. Times this. Times this. Oh, why am I saying times? Are you oh, kidding me? Am I what, well, Mr. Beb? Why didn't you tell me that? I thought, I thought that oh, be wrong. let me do it the right way then. Sum, <laughs> sum equal. I'm gonna go do the sum because it's easier the sum. I'm gonna go sum these guys. Uh, where am I here, Chad? This one. Is that right? Up to here, or no? I'm gonna go grab this one. Uh, no, one more. Can you guys help me up here? Do I need to go up here? This one. So the sum of these, right? Am I right here? And close the brackets. Um, or I think I think you can do comma. Let me do comma again. And the sum of these, right? Up one. No. No. Uh, up one from this side. Yeah. Up one from this side. Okay. So I sum these two slots this and this i summed them up right anything else 480 guys yeah, uh, oh thank you then um i thought i think we should we have to do is this all some comma i think it should be able to comma and grab that ct thank you the ct which is that one right yep that one okay hit enter did you guys come up with the same number? Maybe yours is slightly different. This is the stuff that's going to be fed, my friends, from the panel, from mechanical panel number two. So it doesn't take a genius to find mechanical panel number one now. And I know, Spencer, you're going to ask me what happened to the 1.25. Don't worry about the 1.25. It's a tiny little, in the scheme of things, guys, it's nothing, really. So I found mechanical load number one, guys. I'm going to go mechanical load number two right here. So equal. What do you guys think? This will be, uh, well, no, no, you confuse me, Brad. The chiller, oh, no, the cooling tower was. You're right. The cooling tower was. Now, this is going to be tricky, guys. <sighs> because we added the cooling tower to it. So this is going to be equal this minus this minus the cooling tower don't forget the cooling tower because we added it and it's not part of this the My, cooling tower is already in your mechanical panel too though so you would have to subtract it again uh, yes but it's not part of this though it's not added here see mm -hmm. that's where the tricky one is it's going to be equal this minus the total, no, yeah, minus this added the mechanic. Oh boy, <laughs> that's gonna confuse. Well, the other way, guys, is go pick um, all the all the stuff in mechanical number one. Is let's do that one. Probably less confusing. Equal um, sum. I'm gonna do the same thing. Sum, guys. 
just because it, it, it don't want to confuse and go grab the loads in the mechanical panel number one which is as we know it's going to be right here right am i right over here here you go okay and comma and just grab the load that's going to be which is basically anything that's not on the other panel right are uh, these the two loads yep chad and put comma and what else that's it right can you guys see that loads that i picked these are the only loads that's going to be now ignore that 25 percent will you that 25 percent these are the only two loads guys it's going to be in the mechanical panel number one and hit enter off you go here's your mechanical panel number two the load of mechanical panel number two see how nice when you put them cell next to each cell spencer are you mad <laughs> I know we're missing 25% on the largest motor, but on the big scheme of things, guys, it's nothing. And no, can you do me a favor, guys? This is wrong here. Can you see this? This is doubled. Can you put instead of 1.25? This should be actually 0 0.5. Very interesting. Because we're adding 25 on the largest motor. It's already added. The largest motor is already added. We're adding a 25 on it. So 25% so on the largest motor. The largest motor happened to be the larger of, of these. So we pick the largest motor among all these. Is it true that the largest motor here was one, two, three, 64? 64, yeah, that one is the largest, right? Which, what was it then? That was the chiller? No, I think you were, I think you were it, right? No, because it's added, it's added right here. Everything is already, the largest motor is already added. Your, your total is still 463,000 yeah. and change. Yeah. Right? And then you have to add, you're, you're not, your total isn't, oh, I'm sorry, I'll put that down. Yeah. And then you add the two together. Yeah, it's just a 25%. So we, we're really missing a small amount of volt amps, 25%. Was it on which panel is that? And you know what? Actually, because the largest motor had it to be in the second panel, it's already accommodated to uh, the second panel. So if I want to make sure this, can you guys do me a favor? If you want to make this proper, you might have to add, just go to this cell and add plus, add that 25, that, the large, the 25%. So I just added 25% for that. Oh, here these? Yeah, like for the A. Let's uh, look at one. Like AH, you know, A handling unit S3. Okay. A handling unit S3. I'm getting like. You have 70. Do you have 77 amps? Yeah. Multiplied by 1.7, 480. Yeah. What do you get? Square three. So you guys are what? What's your number? It's because I'm not doing the square Six four zero one four point seven. Oh man, you're fighting over there. One four over one six. That's okay. No, no, don't worry about that one. It's just square root of three. When all the lower loads are off by just a little bit, it makes the final number look very different. You know what? If 
Okay. If you guys want to go use 1.73 or square 3, that's fine with me. On the bigger scheme of things, uh, I see what you mean. It confuses. Okay. Any question, guys? So we have the mechanical equipment, panel number one and panel number two. Done. Mechanical equipment, panel number one, panel number two. Okay. Now, let me tell you what you guys are going to do down here. <clears throat> then, so we have our mechanical. Now we're going to add everything. Now, when you add them, guys, so now um, total volt amp load. Step number other loads, we don't have it. Can you guys go to step number 15? Step number 15. Step number 15, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use a green for step number 15. Um it's it's use red. I'm gonna use red because it's calculated for step number fifteen. Step number fifteen, guys, you're gonna do equal for every one of these steps, and basically pick uh, the loads on the switch gear. Load number one, load number two, on the, that's coming out of the switch gear, all the way to this one two. You just start picking up the loads, or or you can do the What's the word? Sum. There you go. Mr. Bev, did I put you to sleep? <laughs> Enter. So you basically, you know, you guys know how to add all these volt amps. Start at the top one. There you go. Can you, um, so we're taking the 27. 23738 for the receptacles. Then we took the UPS system. Then we took the mic the if your number is different, you might have put different number of receptacles. Correct. Yeah. I'm just um that one. Are you gonna update the PDF? I can. This is this is recorded. Okay, so keep just keep going on. Keep going. Just keep showing me the ones that you're picking up. Right, I'm gonna stop. So you're picking up the 104 or the 91 460. Anything that you pulled on the switch gear will be picked up. Anything that you pulled under the switch gear must be picked up. Otherwise, you don't pull it. Everything under the switch gear has to be added, yes. Keeps going on. I didn't have, what's that? That's the fixture. I didn't put anything on the fixture. I just pulled these individually. You must you must have pulled them probably together. What? Up. Okay. Well, I'll I'll uh, p There you go. Got it. Uh, the my numbers. Okay. And then you add them. This will be the value for your switch gear. Now, gentlemen, if you add the value for a switch gear, you know what? If I were you, I even if I would even equal equal sum. I would sum. Open the brackets and sum the whole the whole uh, column, guys. Grab the whole column and and all the way down. Really, because that's that's all what what's going to be. Okay, and I'm going to sum it all the way here. So anything you put under these, and don't worry about that one, Brad. They might have numbers different than yours by substantial. No. Oh, we're going to have, I'll bring tomorrow, Mr. Bev. Sorry. Can you save that from I will. I will. And then you guys can uh, div.
then we can um, then we can size the conductor, the neutron, everything else. So this math, can you guys see this math? Drag this math across to all these panels that you install. So now it adds, why well, it's adding some some of this. Yeah, it adds all, uh, do we have anything in here? Yeah, anything that has some value, it will add it. Do we have anything on this, PDUs? Yeah. Give me one second, buddy. Just one one second. I'm working on it to make it better. Oh, you guys will do good. That's why we have 22 by 37. We 11 by 17 would work good now. You can put it, uh, land you can, or you can landscape it. You can landscape it. No fail. Okay, so all these guys are connected directly together. <laughs> Did they lose you? Most of you? It's because you don't have that math. Or the layout. The layout? Okay, let me let me save this one on the network. Save it on the network on a PDF file. Save it in Excel. Yeah, give it to us next. Yeah. How about if I give you guys is and let you go out of yeah, here? Right. <laughs> okay, that, that, I, I right. think we'll rely on this. One. We'll come here just for prayer and meditation. There's a lot of steps in this cover. Well, you guys are graduating from Dunwoody with electrical designer. You are smart now. You're not babies. You, using, using. Uh, Got to do it. So last time I asked you, you told me the only thing you can do now is the main panel. I started working with the main panel. Mr. Beb, we're doing the main panel. But, but I mean, you, you know. You're flipping to the lighting panel. You're flipping. That's the same thing. I Guys, four different pages. I calculate the lighting load in the main panel. The only thing I added, I just moved it on one, one column. One column under another column in Excel. That's what I did. I didn't do anything. I did the, cal the same calculation based on what I gave you. I grabbed it and put it under one column. One column. I do. Oops. We should probably stop recording here. Complaints. Yeah. Yeah. So I do what you're doing. I'm just like I said, it's just a lot more stuff to add in the sheet. Yeah. Zoom, resume. We're back. We're back. No complaints. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, I did not switch that on you. It's the same sheet. I just added columns to make it easier for you guys. And instead of having eight sheets to do, now you can have one sheet with eight columns. That's all what we're doing, guys. So when you do the calculation, the uh, like Mr. Bev, we just, this value, see that value? You guys are going to do, you did it. You did this value right in here. You did it for the receptacle. You did this value for the receptacle. All what I did right now, I pulled it under another column that's going to be the switch gear and a third column that's going to be receptacle panel. That's all. We'll just add another sheet and put them all on the total. Another column. Another column. Okay. So, and then, but the key point is as you guys go through, you need to know how the system is put together. Anything in the Mechanical panel number one is going to be in the mechanical panel number one. The first floor, the second floor, and the roof, mechanical panel number two. Anything in the first floor, mechanical number uh, panel number one. That's you might have, I can tell you that. Okay, when you guys reach this, see that I read what I did. Let me just tell you when you reach this point. 
Can, can I show you that what a method I did, guys? I did just sum everything under the switch gear. I summed everything under the switch gear. And I also, look how nice that is. Then I went and I copied it. I don't know if you guys, if you drag this and copy it, see what I do. It copies it everywhere. So also, I copied it under, which panel is that? Under mechanical panel. So I have the size of all my mechanical right in here in red. What, what color is that? Let me just see what color. Is it green? I don't want green. I hate green. Let's go black. Can you guys see the, the colors, guys? The colors. The, here's all the KVA for every single panel that we installed there. Now, what do you do? The next step, guys, is to take the take it right here. Here's what you're going to wake up to with Chad. See that step, guys? I need the amps. What step is that here? This this is uh, minimum amps. Okay. Minimum, minimum amps. Look at this, guys. Gentlemen, I'm going to go find the amps. Please do this. Please look at this. I'm going to so equal. Gentlemen, can I just get you the amps? Brad, a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go find the amps. Equal this number. This is the KVA. Divide this by 1.73. Uh, seven three times the voltage is 480 equal you see what I did guys I took the cell divided it by the voltage and the 1.73 and here's my switch gear size the switch gear size that I came up with is 2800 2800 switch gear I did this one directly in in the cell can you guys see what i did right here directly in cell now why did it why why did i do it this way this time because some panels are going to be 208 some panels are going to be 480. so so that will be the size then i need a 25 percent i think a future expansion here yeah future expansion 25 percent can you guys see that so i'm going to take this equal this times uh, 1.25 that's a 25 future expansion equal Brad here's your 3500 amp let me do it one more time your first Zero. line there number 15 that line is um, your 2 million and change multiplied by 1.25 divided by Are you, I'm sorry this one here so that's that's just to find the amps that's that value yeah Divided by the open new brackets. Divided by the square root of three. Yeah. Yeah. Do make sure you put the brackets. Otherwise, the math would not do right. And then you enter. Then I took this value and increased it 25%. Here's the size of my panel, guys. Then uh, minimum size service uh, interconduct. I need the panel size. So we're going to go size based on this. This is you're going to calculate based on 35. My size is going to be 4,000. <laughs> so, can you guys see that? Let me just do one, please. Here's a KVA. Divide it, this get the amp, multiply it by 1.25, you get the future expansion. Then 35, then where do they get the 4,000 amp? That's the next standard over temperature device, 4,000. Then you size everything, all the conductors based on 4,000. <laughs> Let me go do the receptacle panel. I'm going to do the receptacle panel right that, next that, to that it. That is the future uh, uh, expansion 0.25 or 1.25. Mr. Rebab, the future expansion is 25%. But if I give you a 3% salary increase, what's your total salary? 1.03 times your original salary. How do you increase the number by 1.25? Uh, how do you increase the number by 0.25 or 25 percent? You guys know how 1.25 increase the number, the total number. If I want to increase something by 25 percent, you multiply that thing by 1.25. That will give you the total number after you increase it. Did I send you guys to the math here or what? What numbers? Okay, sorry guys, but but see what I did here, Chanel. Here's my number. Oh, I, gotcha. I added this number here is 25 percent increase, oh, I, I get that, Chad. plus the original number, all in one step. Okay, here's a four thousand. I'm gonna go, guys. Do it. Look how easy to do that one, guys, for the receptacle panel. 
Chanel, uh, uh, Camille, look at me what I'm going to do, guys. Look what, what I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to go, you guys are good with, with Excel. I'm going to drag them. Look what I dragged them. I dragged them to the receptacle panel. Now it's calculating the receptacle panel for me. My receptacle panel is 28 amps. Oops. What's the problem with the receptacle panel? Look at the voltage. What's the voltage of a receptacle panel? 28, guys. 28. Only the receptacle 28, right? Change this one to 28 and off you go. Your receptacle panel as of now is 82. Make sure. What's the next standard over computation device? 100. We said we're not going to use this on 100. Here's your panel size. Let me go take it. What's the next panel, guys? The lining panel? Yep, let's go to the lining panel. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go directly to the lining panel. Because I know the lining panel is a 480. By the way, the lighting panel is 480. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go copy this, copy all this, put it right on the exact cell. Look, if you put it right under the exact cell, it does the math for you. Right click and paste it. And here you go. Here's the size of your lighting panel. It's a 480 panel. And here's the um, a future expansion. What's the next standard for 160, guys? We have 175, right? One. As of now, 175. So my panel is going to be 175. Done. Let's go to the mechanical panel. Oh, hold on, quick. It oh. looks like they sized according to the second um, sensor. Oh, don't don't look at no, this. I'm just looking at it. Don't look at. Uh, yeah. So most people what parallel maybe 10, 12 sets. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Def now let me. Do you guys want me? Can I? You want me to size the, the, the switch for you here, to size the cable here for you? No, I want you to do the math that you have. Here? This one? Or which one? Anyone? Right here. You did the switch here. Yep. And you copied and pasted it over. To the receptacle panel, and I changed the voltage to 28. But how did your numbers across change? I, I, I did it. Brad, if you if you highlight this and, and and drag this, see if I drag it, if I drag it, it will copy all the math, and it would take the cell above it. Okay. Do you have this number? Oh, yeah. uh, here, here. No, the, the two, three, three, zero, two, six, four, nine, in the red. Right up the top. Oh, these are because I'm using different. Don't don't look at these. These are slightly that's, different numbers. That's the only way to talk my math. Yeah, is it substantially different? I, I, I'm trying to meld yours into my existing worksheet. So okay. Is your square root of three in there? Square root of three or one point seven? Just go up to your two three seven three eight in the red. No, go back down. When here? Right there at the red. Oh. Uh, here's where I summed it. I did the sum of everything under this column. I don't know why. I get rid of this panel. Here, two three seven eight. Don't you have two three seven three eight? Isn't that what we found for the receptacle panel? I didn't do that when I did. This okay. is my this is my sheet from the last quarter. Okay, gotcha. It'd be easier to just figure out. That's what I just told you. I'll put it in the network, gentlemen. Okay, let me just go one more time to the mechanical equipment. Look what I'm gonna do. Did we do the mechanical? This is my mechanical equipment. Is that MP1? This is MLP. Let's go to M MP1. I want to do MP1. And P1 is right here. I want to remind you guys, if I drag these, this is a 480. If I grab it from here and go drag it this way, it will, done, copy it, done. Now, um, Spencer, 224, 280, what's the next standard over computation device? 300, done, here's my panel. See how nice when you drag them in the same sheet? Now let's do the mechanical number two, guys, right here, drag it. I thought you guys are geniuses when, when, when they want to grab that one here. Um, now, this is four. Look at that. This is five. What's my next standard, Spencer? 600. 
Done. Here's my mechanical panel number two. Done. What was this panel here? Uh, let's go to this, this is busway. Yeah, it's a good, good, good idea. The busway. I'm gonna go drag these, drag it here, all the way to this. Here's my busway size. Nine nine nine. So what's my next standard? A thousand. Here's my thought one thousand amp busway. Busway over temptation device. I know you're gonna be looking at it, you're not gonna find a thousand probably. Where's the the over temptation device. Busway it's it's the busway itself is we're sizing up. Guys, this this sheet gentlemen. This sheet is a living object. As we start designing it, it starts making more sense when you see the 48208 uh, busway and the 281, 28 and the 480 busways. We, well, I just sized a big chunk of busway, plug-in busway that's coming to the area. And I'm not going to lie to you if I told you guys if you drag them across, I can't remember what was the other panels. Where are my panels? Uh, UPS. Uh, two eight. Let's do it to the two eight, guys. Grab the two eight. Here's my. This is my two eight. Drag it from here. Okay. Now I have a problem here. You guys remember this bus is a two eight. So what do you do with this voltage? Two o eight. Enter. Here's your voltage. Two eight. So then one thousand. Actually nine hundred here. Just going by overcompetition. Do we have nine hundred? Eight hundred. We don't have. So one thousand. One thousand. Now do me a favor, gentlemen. Yeah. Your auto panel inside your car. Uh, yes. What do you mean? When? What's your panel? I'm asking you what your number is. 175. What? What did you come up with? I. I didn't come up with anything. Okay. Because I didn't pull all my numbers. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Do me a favor, guys. These two numbers are, these two numbers are for the PDUs. PDUs are always sized in KVA. PDUs are always sized in KVA. So for the PDUs, the last two numbers here, the last two numbers, the PDUs and the UPS, leave them until we reach that level because there's some calculation involved in this. Did you guys hear me? The PDU and the UPS and the emergency panel, these three panels, I will put this in the network, Chanel. Um, the PDUs and the UPS and the emergency panel, leave them until we go deeper into the project. I, I have to walk you through a couple of things. So here's we size them. Then, then if you guys come over here now, I want to parallel these. How many sets? Then I don't know how we did that one. I'm gonna go. You guys are gonna do this, the math. If I uh, it's just the uh, 11 sets, say 4,000 divided by 11 sets, that would get me th 363. What would the 500 give you? 500 give you 380. Spencer, what would the 500 KCM give you? Is that 380? Okay. So uh, then, then here's what you're gonna tell Chad here, guys. I'm gonna drag this one right in here. I want to say, here's what you're going to type it. You're going to say 11 sets of, um, now, uh, these are phases only. So 11 sets of, three. thank you, three conductors, three conductors, 500 kcm each. That's it. The computer's not going to do this for you. You're going to do it. Now, ignore these, will you? Ignore these here. The grounded conductor. Let me just tell you guys how I do the grounded conductor. The grounded conductor, the amps for the grounded conductor. Let me tell you how I do it. Can you guys follow me, with, please, with, with this one? The grounded conductor. I'm going to do some math on it. I say equal. Okay. I'm going to say equal. 200. 200 from the get go. The first 200, leave them alone. Plus this cell minus. Uh, 200. See what it did? Uh, make sure you open the brackets because you're going to derate it. So 200 plus the switch gear size minus 200. What two? This is whatever larger than 200. 
multiplied by 0.7 from the code. 0 0.7. This is the amp that I can size. What did you do wrong here? You didn't multiply it. Oh, you didn't put the multiplication. Okay, here. I have to put multiplication. Okay, multiplied by 0 0.7. Where would the point seven is? Anything higher than 200, guys, the code allow you to cut it by 70%. Okay, so enter. Okay, here's how. Here's the size, guys, that I need to size my neutral. Now, remember, I need to, then I need to divide 11 runs. I need to divide 11 runs. Did you guys hear me? 11 runs. So I have 2, 8, 6, 0, divide by 11. I have 260. Spencer, what's 260? Uh, 300. 300. Thank you, buddy. Spencer, you're going to get your, your end move on, man. If you keep. <laughs> so I'm going to go merge these. Format cells. You guys know how to merge cells? Align, merge cells. I merge these cells. Then I'm going to go copy um, the language here just to get the language. Copy this language. Paste this language here. And how many sets, Mr. I have to use 11 sets of how many conductors? One conductor. What was the size, Spencer? 300, sir. Thank you. Done. Here's the size of a switch here. 11 sets of 500 and 11 sets of 300 KCM. Now, let me tell you what I would do. Now, I, I would drag this directly to here and size now let's just size the receptacle. I don't want to size the receptacle. Then you do the receptacle panel, guys. And then you size, drag this one right in here. And you size, and then you size the neutral. Now remember the, the 100 amp, anything 200 or less, we're going we're gonna to size it full. So that would be size based on 100. And you just drag these guys, drag them from right here. We're all the way across to here. And adjust them. The help or more confusing? A little bit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I will put in the network. But I want you to be aware that these numbers need cooking. So if you see seven sets of three conductors, 500 KCM, I hope I wouldn't see this one on the project. Seven sets. Everybody knows that if I put it right now there, I'm not going to go size it for you guys. You're going to be sizing it. Okay. Sorry, what's it? This is just copying it, just giving you the, ma the, the language. Okay. So then that's how we size it, my friends. We size the neutral, guys. Then the last thing is we size the equipment grounding conductor for all the equipments and the grounding, the electrode grounding conductor for the switch gear. Gentlemen, you are off to a good start. So we size the panel in one sitting. Mr. Bab, what, what I want you to do when I put this in the network is to go type this, put the map in, format it, and off you go. By tomorrow. You guys are good. Okay. Yeah, it's not, I don't think it's... Yeah. So what's wrong with your map? Why your map is goofed up? Because I already have a receptacle panel. Uh, like, to, me, use an old I'm trying to modify yeah. it. A, to fit so this one. To this to I see. So I'm trying to modify my sheet as we go. And my math isn't working out the same. So if you just put it up there, I can okay. do the math Hold the map. backwards so that works. Okay. It will be on the network today. Thank you. All right. So hopefully, guys, that helped a little bit. I hope it didn't confuse more. <laughs> Um,